So, where is my son? <laughs> Sean's a good... Tell me where he is, damn it. Fine. Sean's in a good place. Where he's safe and comfortable and loved. The place he called... No! Yes. You know I am, Kellogg. Movement detect attacking Q. Tell this place can hide. Nick, we know where your son is, but even I... There has to be a way, Nick. Sure. Diamond City it is. Hey.
roof access. something bothering you? That was all I had. Shoot. Deep into that darkness peering, long I stood there, wondering. We sell everything, skip packs, ammunition. I've got a few minutes to browse. or something heads up wait there something for you come on whatever you need hey see that big blimp
including your client here in that analogy. So, you two are finally hey, Nat. in on this Hey, mister, that interview you did with Piper is really selling. Here's your free coffee. We need help, Piper. I've been investigating these creeps for over a year. Some exactly. Sure. Right. Kellogg. A man like that would have had access, but we... Because he's dead. So, a murderer and a kidnapper gets his brains blown out by an avenging parent. Huh. He wasn't gonna talk. Even if I had a way of bringing him in alive. Gets his brains... You're talking... Look, hmm. there's a place, if any. I hope you're right, Nick. Let's see. I guess we're gonna... Jesus, Nick! Gross! Seriously? Mm -hmm. I know it's grisly. Uh-huh. Actually, I think I already have something. Kellogg had this thing attached to his head. Cybernetics, huh? Whether... Sure. I have to go... I'll head there on my own. All right. See you at the den. Don't worry. We're gonna get your boy back. Uh -huh. While you two are out, I'm gonna do some more research. See you on a date with Morowski the other day? Huh. He wishes. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Brotherhood of Steel, let us stay out of it. I'm saying. Valentine. Hey, Valentine. I Let's go talk to Amari. May have walked out of the no, den, or you're not her life. Never walk out on you. Hmm. Excuse me. Good neighbors crazy. That's I hear you. It's a mess out there. It's rough. You have... My family and I used to listen to every new episode. You mean I was in cryogenic storage. For... Oh man. Wasn't he a caveman? Yeah, that boy. It seems like people are finally re maybe. I got a plan. Mm hmm. Good on you for trying to make the world. I just have my butt in the ass. I'll get the costume for you. You're gonna do this? Sure. Before the bombs fell. Uh -huh. So that's where you'll find it. Take it this isn't a social call. We need your help, Doctor. I... 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 Right. Please. Nick told me this. Fine. Here's what I could find. What's that? That's the hippocamp? Mm. Go on, Doctor. Mr. Valentine is a... <laughs> Don't... Sure. I appreciate this, Nick. You can thank... Whenever you're ready, Mr. Valentine. Just sit down. If I start cackling like an old grizzled mercenary, pull me out, okay? 
Let's see here. I need you to keep talking to me, Mr. Valentine. Any slight change in your cognitive functions could be dire. Are you feeling any different? There's a lot of flashes. Static. I, I, I can't make sense of any of it, Doc. That's what I was afraid of. The mnemonic impressions are encoded. It appears the Institute has one last failsafe. There's a lock on the memories in the implant. I didn't hear that. What? I didn't hear that. What? I didn't hear that. What? Were you going to say something or not? Tell me you have a way past this, Doc. Let me read it here. All right. Let's get started. Just sit down over there and keep... Huh? See you on the other side. Initiating brainwave migration between the transplant and the host. Mnemonic activity coming from the transplant. It's degenerated, but it's there. We're going to load you into the strongest memories we can find. They might not be stable. Just hold on. Can you hear me? Ah, good. The simulation appears to be working, although the memories are quite fragmentary. I'll try to step you through the intact memories and hope we find one that gives us some clue to the Institute's location. There. This is the earliest intact memory I can find. Let's keep looking. I'll connect you to the next intact memory. How did you think this was going to end, Kellogg? I found another memory to try. I'll connect you. Mind well, we seem to be getting closer. Try this next one. Mr. Kellogg, I'm glad you decided. Getting warmer. One of these has got to tell us something. We're running out of brain here. Uh, 
Ah, there's one that looks mostly intact. Connecting now. Manual override initiated. Cryogenic stasis suspended. If all computers are still working. That's good. Checking through the log. Even then, I knew it was a mistake leaving him alive. Found another intact memory. I understood that kind of revenge. No one better. But I was cocked. Is that your son? This appears to be a very recent memory. So, good news, I think. Kellogg. It's okay. One of these days, you're gonna get your head blown off just barging in here like that. Minimizing my exposure to civilians is a priority. Forget I said nothing. So what's the big crisis this time? New orders for you. One of our scientists has left the Institute. Left? As in? He's gone rogue. Name's Dr. Brian Virgil. We know he's hiding somewhere in the glowing sea. Here's his file. Wow. Some heads are gonna roll for this. Capture and return, or just elimination? Elimination. He was working on a highly classified program. No kidding. One of the top bioscience boys? Damn. So... I guess you're taking the kid back with you. Affirmative. Your only mission is to locate and eliminate Virgil. You're taking me home to my father? Yes. Stand next to me and hold still. Okay. It's all over but the dreamy. to relay with Sean. Bye, Mr. Kellogg. I hope I see you again soon. Bye. Teleportation. Now it all makes sense. Nobody's found the entrance to the Institute because there is no entrance. Let me pull you out of there as soon as you're ready. Okay. I don't know what kind of side effects.